everyone. Well, I was thinking about painting this in watercolour, but I think we'll do a little bit of mixed media today as it's fun. So I'm just going to start by putting some water on this cow's bottom so we can get some nice soft effects. Now this used to be my logo and um, it's one that I've painted for a long, long time. So it just seemed appropriate to sort of revive it a little bit today. Let's just put some of that opera rose. I'm going to do it very vibrant today. Pop that in there. Then we can add more water. It's sort of almost white there, but... Maybe a little bit of pink there. Okay, and now I'm going for an intense violet. Here, pick up some dry brush marks if we're lucky, and I can go in there. So let's keep its tail quite pink. I'll wash off that below. I've not painted this lovely pregnant cow in years. I photographed her in the New Forest, and she is totally gorgeous. I think we can have. A little bit of a pink tail. I swished her tail out a little bit because otherwise it sort of disappears down that leg. That can be darker. A little bit of that pink into the head. The opera rose is just so vibrant. And then we'll sort of soften that into the mauve. We can mix the pink and the mauve together. The intense violet with that opera rose does look quite lovely. And then we get darker as we come underneath here. And a little bit pink over the eye for the moment. We'll go back in with that later. And just squinting for any dark darks. That's sort of quite dark there. That could be mauve. That gives us the shape of the bottom. And a pink in the move for those legs at the front so they show up. Now there's a reason that I've not taped this paper. Um, it's a deckled edge, it's a cardi handmade paper. And my thoughts are that I'd like to keep that edge deckled. So if I tape it, I'm going to lose that nice edge. So if it gets to the point where we can't do anything else, we'll tape it. But let's see what we can get away with. So first of all, I'm going to wet the paper. And I'm going to take all that clear water around the cow. Leave those lovely legs white. And it's a little bit upright. You don't need to do this so upright yourselves. Um, that's what will happen. Our bits are going to run over bits that I don't want to, but I'll sort that out. That's not a problem. That's nice and wet. That will give us a nice soft background. It makes it a little bit more forgiving. Okay, so I'm going to use a mix of Prussian blue and lemon yellow. I'm making it more blue than yellow because I just like that, that sort of bluey green. Okay, and let's just pop that on. Now that looks quite dark. But what's going to happen, because I've wet it with clear water, that will dry quite a lot lighter. I've not made it easy for myself, have I? Um, wanting to keep that edge, but we'll see how it goes. Let's persevere. I 
see because that's wet that is giving us a little bit of time the point of the brush makes it so much easier just to go around everything it's a big brush but we have quite a lot of control with that starting to dry already but if horrible things do happen to our wash it isn't the end of the world because of the things that we're going to do with the mixed media so this is a great technique for sorting out messes not that we want to intend to make a mess but if we do not a problem today leg white because that will just give us a bit more impact um, which is quite a character I think this cow and just do that bit now hopefully when we put the hair dryer on it to dry it that will flatten that out quite a lot lovely knobbly knees haven't they it's on that one now I use an old brush and I'm going to use this Winter and Newton iridescent medium and this is going to give a lovely effect over it's sort of shiny and sparkly just put it on really quickly and that's on all the green areas the cow we leave alone for the moment now you can use any old brush to do this you do tend to use I find quite a lot when I'm doing this so don't be scared to just put loads out and use it up. I think this is one of those things I had for ages and I didn't actually know what I was going to do with it until I made a mistake on my background and it's a wonderful way to lighten a background if it's gone wrong. It covers up all sorts of stuff. So far so good with that deckled edge, it's managing to keep that. Uh, I must admit this does look very messy and strange at the moment. can't see where the shiny bits are easily sort of turn your head slightly and then the light catches it and they look a lot more obvious now I sort of apply it almost like you'd be applying um, paint if you were glossing a door and so just get it a little bit sort of smooth Right, I've taped that down now um, for the finishing touches so it, it's flatter and um, I'm just going to add some of the very darks. So let's go for a intense violet, just very thick and into that I'm putting some of the opera rose. So hardly any water, lots of pigment because it's quite a dark colour and let's look for that dark shape there. Bring that down. There's a little bit of dark by 
my leg. And the nose. And that beautiful eye. Oh, and there's a little bit here too. Let's pop that here whilst we're thinking about that. showing there and there is a bit of ear here so just pop that dark in and I'm just squinting to see if I can see any more a few dark bits here The next thing I'm going to use is um, my sword liner brush, which I call my possessed brush. It's amazing. So I want you to mix up some nice, thick, intense violet, lots of pigment, not a lot of water. And this brush really does what it wants. And that's what we want because we don't want this to be tight and fiddly. And we want it to be sort of accidental almost. Look at the shape of the bottom. The leg comes down like that. It's a bit of an outline. And that tail. Swirly. And you can use the thick parts and the thin parts. And that's why it's possessed really, it just does its own thing. Mm. This is giving us a little bit of definition. You don't want to be tight and fiddly. That's a bit of a line that comes down the middle there. Before I put the soft pastel in, I need to put a bit of a shadow underneath the cow. I think we'll go for a green. So we just mix some of that Prussian blue that we had with a little bit of the lemon yellow, but thicker and darker this time. And let's just anchor him down a bit with a shadow. that grass later. Look at that, that just sort of sits him on the ground nicely. Now I'm going to take out some of my pencil lines before I spray with hairspray because if I don't I won't get them out afterwards. Let's take out those lines, it's just clearer if you do but if you don't it doesn't matter. Not too many on there anyway. Okay, let's just give that a little bit of a shake. So I'm going to pick out a pink and a purple. I've just got normal soft pastels. And I think that pink looks like it's that sort of colour. That's better. So just sort of rub some through there. That balances it. We can do some squiggles. Maybe a line through there to soften that. And 
we can maybe put a little bit up there. If you've got a big space around there, you can do more. And then I'm going to use, I think, the softer of the mauves. And let's put some, maybe that's too soft. It's a darker one. And a little swig like that. So you don't have to overdo it. Now to set that, because that needs to be set before I do the putting the sil metallic silver on, just spray that with some hairspray. And that will set it quite nicely. Now I'm going to use some Winter and Newton designer gouache. And so just squeeze some of this out in onto a plate. And then I'm going to wet my roller. So I'm just going to use a normal roller. I'm not going to use all of that because that's quite a small painting. So what I'm going to do is just wet the, the top half. So just from there downwards, I'm going to roll that into my silver gouache. So all I'm doing is just rolling it like that so that we cover the end of the roller. And the water will help it not soak up quite so much. I'm going to have a nice sort of clean line there. And then let's go along the bottom. And that just softens that pastel that we've put on, but it gives you a lovely metallic, shiny finish. And so just let that dry. And um, I'm going to put back, let's put back with my sword liner, that grass. So back to your dark mauve. And that's a beauty with... Um, when you're painting mixed media because you could add more pastel if you wanted if you'd lost some you thought oh, I need some more you can add that back in let's just do our grass well, there we go that wasn't that fun to do so you just see cows don't have to be grey or brown they can be opera rose and intense violet um, have fun with your own colours.